All right, these are some uh, pretty cool timers that I got online. Came in a two pack. Uh, they were right at about uh, $10. I'll put a link in the description below. Um, these are very nice to have because it has the, the three prongs in here. A lot of the timers only come with two like that. So if you want to uh, plug in something like a power strip or a device that draws more power, typically that's where this uh, third uh, piece comes in. So on the back side of it, it does have the three as well. Um, this is called the bypass switch. It just goes up and down. So if you um, want to just turn it on, it the bypass is it bypasses the timer. It just turns into a, a full on 100% power all the time. Um, the way these work is really simple. So if you, if you listen to anything on this video, remember this. You're going to want to have all of these uh, little tabs pulled out like that all the way around. And then your arrow button is where you're going to um, obviously trigger where you want it to turn on or off. So ideally, um, most people use this for on, say, for, I don't know, 16 hours off for 8. Um, so you'll have two tabs pushed in. See how easy they go in and out? Um, so that the way this works is as this spins, when one of these tabs is pushed in, it's either going to trigger to turn off if it's on and providing power, or off if, again, the um, power uh, needs to be turned on. Um, what you want to do when you first start it is the arrow should be what time it is currently. So it's 5 o'clock right now. You want That's where you want your arrow to be. And then let's say you want it to turn off at eight o'clock. You'd have that. You'd have this tab pushed in, back on at say six a.m., um, and then you would have this tab pushed in. All the other tabs would be pulled out. Um, again, this is one of those things where it's not rocket science, but as you can see right there, it, um, they use like a little screwdriver or um, a pencil. Uh, actually, I wouldn't use a pencil, a pen. You don't want to break the lead in there. Um, but again, it's it's very simple to figure out if, again, when you first get it, you pull all the tabs out and then set it to where you want it to have uh, an on or an off for you. So a um, couple of troubleshooting. Uh, you have to uh, make sure that if it, there's an on-off switch, uh, it's on. So like, for example, if you were going to, hook it up to a power strip make sure the power strip is on so that when it kicks this tooth turn on it has power that's one little trick there um, and then make sure that um, if you're utilizing the timer piece that you have this slid down to the top so again it's not rocket science but um, again these are um, extremely convenient because of that, that this ground prong in here um, if you are using this for something Please make sure it's in a dry space. Uh, you don't want it, you don't want these to be rained on. They are not waterproof. And I hope that helps.